in this aisle out, 28 miles away, barely visible. I'm still going to go down the hill, see if I can see it at the bottom. Here we go. Eighty feet at the top, eighty-five point five foot eye level right here. Now I'm going to start walking the sixty-foot hill. It's not frozen now, at least on the top. And this is about eighty feet. At about 70 feet now above sea level. I can still see it there. point there has a split in it. It's kind of hard to see here, but that's what I keep my eye on when I'm going down here. It's the one that will tell us the details, like the height for my distance. Let's go again. There's the... That's the uh, bottom there, 20 feet. A little more with everything piling up at the bottom, but that's 20 feet right there. Up here again, at about 60 feet, maybe a little bit lower. Let's shoot out here again. There's the island again, still. And we'll just keep going, make this quick. Whoa. Thing is, now that it's not frozen, everything moves. Oh, you can see my long steps there. Back out again. I'm already starting to shake. It's kind of chilly this morning. Oh, there, the boat's in the middle of it now. There we go. Island's still there. Let's keep going. And this is about halfway down now. About 50 feet here, 50 feet above sea level. Back out to the island. Still there, it's hard to see, but it's visible. Now down to 40 feet. Doesn't take long to go 10 feet here when you're sliding with three foot steps. Glasses are fogging up already. Well, this is about 30 feet here. I didn't say that, so let's go back out again 30 feet above sea level. And I can still see the island. Where did it go now?
Now when I'm shaking, I can't zoom in as far. And it's weird, I get out of breath coming down here too. I think it's because I have to hold all the muscles in my body to keep them sliding. I'm just going right to the bottom. Okay, this is 25.5 eye level here. Let's zoom up to that boat again, get a focus on the boat. Because it's uh, really easy to lose focus in the mist like this when you're trying to... Oh, look at that, eh? Lots of birds, geese, ducks coming back. Well, the island's almost gone, but it's not. So I'm at 25.5. Let's keep walking. I can actually see it with my, uh, just with my glasses on here. So, let me get to about here. Look back. That's where I came from. 80 feet above sea level there, 60 feet going down the hill, 20 feet, a lot of stuff piled up there, so it's about 23 feet there, but right here is 20 feet above sea level. My eye level was 25.5. Let's look back out here, Go back to that boat. I've never seen this boat out here before. I've seen lots of other ones, but that's a new one unless they painted it differently. All right, can we still see it? Yes, we can. And we still see that point. That's 250 feet at the top. Where I'm standing, we should only see about 11 feet in the middle of the 328 feet. Let's keep going, see how far I can go. Get this rock first. For my collection. I can still see it, but barely. So I'm going back out just in case it's gone. Focus on this boat again. kind of a cute boat. It looks like uh, that tugboat. Theodore, I think. All right. There it is, still there. And as long as we can see it, it's still measurable. I'm at about 20 foot eye level here. Again, we'll look back here. That's where I came from. 80 feet at the top. And I'm just going to keep walking. This goes down pretty steep right here. That's sea level right where the water and the sand is. So I'm at just a couple feet above sea level. Oh, that boat just turned around or the sun just hit it. That was pretty cool. Lit it right up anyway. here. See if we can still see the island. Yes we can. I'm at about 5.5 eye level which has 421 feet of curvature blocking that 328 foot island 100%. Let me go down to 3 feet. I have to zoom back. Yeah. I'm going to rest my knee on a rock here. Now I can zoom back in. So that's three feet. Look, there's another group of flock of ducks or geese. Probably geese. Okay, this is three feet. Now I'm just going to start going down. It's really hard to... Okay, hold on. I'm going to come back in. And I'm going to take off the gloves. 
taking the camera off my neck so I can make it or get it lower. Take the uh, display out. I hate the display on the back, but let's see what we can get here. So now I'm at two feet here. Where are we? I think that's it right there. Still there at two feet. It's not much, but still it has to be measurable. And I'm going down, still going down, at about one foot here, above sea level. It's hard, I've still got winter clothes on, so it's compressing my gut, making it hard to breathe. Okay, that's, whoops. Oh, man. That's six inches. I really can't, well, I can almost. I'm going to try to put it right here. Hold on. Put it on this rock. It's about three inches. Where'd the highland go here? It's still there, right there. And I got to get up. Oh yeah, that was worth it. Even in the haze, I was still able to see enough to show zero temperature. Where'd it go now? I'm standing up where to go. Yeah, right there. So that's 28 miles away. I'm again at 5.5 eye level, but I was down to at least one foot. There's a boat car. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Flattening the curve. Now I'm going to go somewhere else.